How's it going everyone? This is my hello and welcome back to Undertale. In the last video, we finally got to Snowden Town, as you can see here, and it seems very happy. Whoa, that's a little weird. Meanwhile, we tried more of Papyrus's puzzles out. Sans kept on telling us about maybe a future encounter with Papyrus. Especially with his blue attacks, which I guess we all know what to do with blue attacks. Just stop and don't move. Let's check out the shop. So, I should probably mention this by now, but as you can tell, Undertale is heavily influenced by games like Earthbound and Mother 3. So a lot of the interface actually seems a lot like Earthbound, as well as sprites, gameplay, quirkiness. So. I don't know, it's pretty nice. Oh my god, we can get a bandana with abs on it. Yes, please. It'll be like more abs than I can ever have. I mean, you know, everyone has abs. It's just that it's a matter of do your abs show or are they just invisible under flab? You know, that's just a thing. Alright, so we have stuff in our inventory, so let's try to sell, shall we? Huh? Sell something? Does this look like a pawn shop? Oh, wait, what? I can't sell my stuff here? I don't know how it works where you come from, but if I started spending money on old branches and use bandages, I'd be out of business in a jiffy. Oh, so I can't sell you my bandage or stick, huh? Well, this is awkward. For once, shopkeepers and RPGs have business sense. How about that? They're not gonna take random garbage and pay for it. But the thing is, we can also talk with the shopkeeper. In fact, we can talk with everyone in Snowden Town. So, there could be a lot of exploration here. I may try to cut down on the amount of time I take exploring Snowden Town. Come on! But Snowden Town is pretty nice since it's our first town here. Because there's grill bees with food, the library, and there's an inn, which. Oh, your sister. How about that? Family business is right next to each other. Oh, Sans and Papyrus, I've already seen them doing their things. Oh, so they weren't originally from here? Interesting. Huh. So, where did they come from then? Where did Sans and Papyrus come from? Well, I wasn't... I'm not from here, but I'm not gonna say. Yeah, so you... Oh, so you started off in the ruins. And then, now you're here in the under underground. Okay. I guess fuzz because they have fur so that they can, you know, maintain heat. Yeah, I've been there. Um, there's not much to see in the ruins. So what's up with you? I can imagine since you're underground, but... Then again, Snowden kind of looked rather open. Like, more open than I thought it would. I thought this would be like, you know, just caves and splunking and such like that, but it seemed like you have a nice open area to, you know, live in. It doesn't seem so bad. You know, life is life, everyone just lives on. Obla di, obla da, I can't believe I remember that song. Speaking of obla di, obla da, I used to like that song, but then something personal happened and I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna be listening to this Beatles song anymore. This Beatles song sucks. So, <laughs> random story. So this is the inn that the shopkeeper talked about. Apparently this is the shopkeeper's sister. So I guess you're the shopkeeper's nephew? Or niece? I can't tell your gender. Wait, what? Wait, so I have 22 HP. I mean, 20 HP. You're telling me I can... You know what, I'm actually going to save the inn for later. I have a plan. I'm not going to tell you my plan, but... Um, I'm actually going to, also going to show you this later on too, but... What's up with you? Man, there's so many rabbits here. Then again, that one shopkeeper said fuzzy people live here, or furries. What about her? Come on, hit on her. Come on, make a move on her. What's up with you? What is bun buns anyway? Bun 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 bun. What are you, a Pokemon? Or are you by any chance a rabbit? So you're pretty much. Is that a baby version of yourself that you're putting on a leash? Okay, that is a bit weird. It's almost like, you know, 
Cartman being put on a, on a leash in that one episode of South Park where he's being treated like a dog. You know, the whole pss episode. <laughs> oh yeah, I have come across that gift trot. Um, that's actually making its life worse. Although, I suppose you started Christmas, just not for the right reasons. Then again, a lot of our holidays have started for the wrong reasons. A lot of our traditions have started for the wrong reasons. What's up with you? Yo, you're a kid too, right? I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. Okay, you got me. Earthbound. And Mother 3 says, striped shirts are worn by kids only. You know, like Lucas, Claus, Ness. And that is a good question. Is Papyrus an adult? Or is he a kid? Or is he a squid? Wait, there's a Santa Claus here? Cool. Also, yes, it just made a Splatoon reference, even though I don't play Splatoon since I don't have a Wii U. There's no mayor here. Then who is this? Is it? So there's no leadership here. This is anarchy or communism? Speaking of politics, God, our politics sucks right now. The news and politics are just clusterfucks. So this is Grillby's. On a happier note, this is like a neighborhood bar. You know, it's like Applebee's in a sense, but better. It kind of reminds me of, I don't know, um, Moe's in The Simpsons or that bar in, what is it, show? Cheers? The one, goes, the one that goes like, where everybody knows your name. I don't know, like, neighborhood bars are nice, but I usually, I usually like to go to bars when I'm with people. I really am not in the mood to go to bars alone. Um, you okay there? You, you seem like you're lusting for something. What are you? I'm sure it is. Oh, so your food lasts forever? Wait, you mean your food doesn't? Well, excretion system. You'd like to poop? You know, in the bathroom. What's up with you? The capital's getting pretty crowded, so I heard they're going to start moving here. Ooh, that's exciting. Okay, you can have more people here. Then again, you do have something unique here. Slip into your butts, excuse me. That's a bit weird. So, yeah, as you can see, these are all of the dogs we've come across. All of the people of the Royal Guard. I'm so glad we've spared them all. Really? It seems like you're. <laughs> that is true, because you're dogs. But yeah, like, it seems like you kind of protect everyone in Snowden if you're the royal guard, making sure that people from the ruins don't come to terrorize you guys, if... Oh, you mean that guy? I know, I know, I've experienced that before. What? <laughs> okay, what's up, doggo? Isn't your personality paranoia? Or dog? That's your personality dog. What's up with you, lesser dog? How's your neck? Isn't that solitaire? How is it even possible? Okay, and here's a fish. What's up with you? Oh, good job. You know, putting yourself out there, it's always... They always like to see some dude make the first effort. Yeah, you know, there's a lot of girls out there, so... Okay, how are you doing it? Um, I mean, you look like you're a fish, so that doesn't seem so bad. Is Undyne a fish? Then again, I guess Undyne, her, the name kind of sounds like it comes from some sort of fish monster from a long time ago. No, because those are the royal guards. Oh, so Undyne is the leader. Then again, I think that one guy might have mentioned something about how Papyrus answers to someone else. Ooh, she sounds rather dangerous, actually. Wait, what? That doesn't make any sense. But yeah, um, this fish actually said something about actually putting out a line. We have seen something about a dude and a fishing rod and a dude trying to make girls date him. He may or may not be the guy who may be affiliated with that fishing rod back in part 4. What's up with you? I assume you're Grillbees? 
even though you're fire? Like, how are you even possible? You're fire. Like, I don't know, I like this place. It's nice, it's chill. Hello, kids. Well, you know, comedians, c comedy, it's a nice way to break from reality. Oh yeah, you don't have sunlight here because you're underground. Well, you don't have to be funny. You can find joy in other ways, right? Yeah, just smile, you know. It takes more muscles to frown to the smile, right? Yeah, that's the spirit. <laughs> okay, I guess puns are the sins of comedy, I guess. Hello, what are you? Rocks? Ah, oh, to be young again, the world sure felt boundless. I thought you said roundless for a second. What's this context? Oh, oh, come on, humans aren't that bad. Can I come in? Sure, why not? <laughs> I do seem to have a good knock there, like... What? Can I talk to you? So... There's this endless supply of ice that a wolf is throwing into the water. What? And why? And where is the ice coming from? Okay, so there's this water here. So... Sometimes, I think it's based on RNG, but... Come on! Sometimes when you go here, our phone will ring. And when it does, it's actually a pretty interesting conversation because someone is asking for a person whose name starts with G. But then they realize that we are not the person whose name starts with G. And then they kind of realize that they got the wrong number. So they break out into a song, the wrong number song, which goes like Supposedly people say it's RNG based, but I kind of believe that you need to have at least killed people in order to hear the song because I've only seen it in neutral runs and genocide runs, never in pacifist runs apparently. Like Rarby. What? Um... Okay, good. I was just wondering if you knew, you know, knew about your mistake. <laughs> you have no news. Then again, it's better than having shit news like we do. More on current events. Yay. Oh, jeez. I hope it did not impossible like Sans' is word search. Well, that's good for you. So there's... Um, I should probably start from the beginning. Um, let's see. Um, monster funerals are cool as heck. When monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn into dust. At funerals, we take that dust and spread it on the person's favorite thing. Then their essence will live on in that thing. <laughs> so, okay, so monsters, when they die, they turn into dust. They don't even need to be you know, cremated into ash, for example. So, monsters are made of magic, but they're physically weaker than humans. But monsters are magical. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I guess that's pretty interesting to hear how monsters turn into dust when they die. I guess it's, a. Uh... Are you, like, doing a meta storytelling or something? Okay, so because they are made of magic, monsters' bodies are attuned to their soul. If a monster doesn't want to fight, its defenses will weaken. Isn't that when it spares me? Or wants me to spare him? Or her? And the crueler the intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Therefore, if being with a powerful soul struck with the... Okay, wait. Therefore, if a being with a powerful soul struck with the desire to kill. That actually, that actually sounds pretty morbid. Especially against this happy music. Fearing the humans no longer, we moved out of our old city, home. We braved harsh cold, damp swampland, and searing heat. Actually, we have only come across harsh cold so far. Until we reach what we now call our capital. Ooh, there's a new capital. 
New home. Uh, again, our king is really bad at names. <laughs> Indeed, he seems to be. Love, hope, compassion. That is what people say our monster souls are made of. But the absolute nature of soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven their souls don't need these things to exist. Amen. We're a very hateful species. It sucks to be a human sometimes. A lot of times. What are you? Look who's Mr. Popular here. Look who's Mr. Unpopular here. What's inside anyway? Oh, that's actually pretty sad. So I'm assuming that Sansa and Papyrus live here. They have a pretty nice house, all things considered. Hmm. Okay, that's interesting. Well, let's just cut to the chase and move on. I guess Snowden Town is not going to have anything else for us. Anything else for us, so... Hello? Oh, hey Papyrus. What's up? You men, allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover. I do love pasta, I guess. Maybe not necessarily... I'm not gonna say anything. The admiration for another's puzzle solving skills. The desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. You are pretty cool, all things considered. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must feel like to feel that way. It feels awesome, dude. After all, I am very great. At least you're very aware of it. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. I'm pretty lonely. I need more in life. Like you. Worry not. You shall be lonely no longer. I, the great papyrus, will be your... Yes? Are we going to be something special, Papyrus? Because I've been realizing that you're very special. No, no, this is all wrong. I can't be your friend. Wow, friends on already. You are a human. I must capture you. Oh, right, right. I'm your target. I forgot about that. Then I can live my lifelong dream. What even is your dream? Powerful, popular, prestigious. That's Papyrus, the newest member of the Royal Guard. So it's all about popularity to, to you, huh? So I actually want to fight. I don't, I don't think you want to do this, Papyrus. But let's do this. Um, let's check him out. Papyrus, he likes to say, Nyeh, Nyeh. Amen to that. You know what? I'm actually going to take damage intentionally. Um, you'll see why. Um... I want to show off a secret that requires me to take a lot of damage, so I'm actually going to kill myself first. Um, I actually want to save the good parts of this battle for later. So there's something interesting about this battle. You actually cannot die. See? I'm down to 1 HP. You're too weak! I was easily able to capture you. I will now send you to the capture zone. Okay, as Sans calls it, our garage. Wait, what? Aren't you going to send me to wherever this Undyne is? You're in the doghouse now. How ironic. I was a human playing with dogs, and now I'm the doghouse dog. <laughs> so, oh, this is a bone. Oh, it's squeaky, and it's a literal bone. This is really for dogs. Wow, I can't believe it. It's actually for dogs. And dog food. What's this? What's this? Sorry, I have to lock you in the guest room until Undyne arrives. Oh, that's the arrangement. That's why I'm not being sent to Undyne. Undyne has to come here. Feel free to make yourself at home. Refreshments and accommodations have been, prov accommodations have been provided. Nearly yours, Papyrus. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Oh, this is stupid. So yeah, this is what happens when you lose the Papyrus. You actually don't die. Papyrus can never kill you. We all know that he's too good at heart. Now, he's also pretty stupid since he can't make bars, as Sans had established long ago. So, let's go back, but I actually want to do something first. As you know, these two things can teleport us to the eastern and western ends of Snowden Town. But what I want to do is actually sleep at the Snowed Inn. Because that one bunny mentioned something about 
having HP that will go beyond the maximum HP. So let's sleep. Get me out of here. I don't want to sleep here anymore. No, I did not. <laughs> I like how they treated the transitions as actual real-time events. Okay, so th since we didn't stay here for the entire night, we actually got our money back. And we have more than 20 HP. So maybe it did like when they said, you're stuck with 20 HP since sleeping at the end means you can get up to 30 HP even though your maximum is, maximum is supposedly 20. So I'm gonna go confront Papyrus since we need to confront each other properly this time around. <laughs>